Good morning, good morning. I just realized that the music isn't playing, which is a bit odd because I'm hearing it through the speakers. So OBS decided not to catch it. There we go. All right, and I need to rearrange all these windows. There, uh, stacking good morning. Um, I also saw some others in chat before I moved it over. <laughs> yeah, my word, I'll get a point for the end of the stream. Um, yeah, absolutely, do it. I believe you can do it. Um, happy phone, good morning. Let's see. You open, don't need you open. You can stay over there. You go over there. Uh, we don't even need you open right now. And that's OBS. All right. Let's switch over to the main screen. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I also need to change the stream title. Wait, did I did I forget to do that? I thought I said it last night. Oh, I, I did. So I, I just set it to programming before work. And then all I did was change the go live notification. Um, which uh, I should probably change this to exploring web assembly, which is, doesn't include GGZ. There we go. Excellent. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for the reminder. All right. Totally. Th this feels like a, a Friday, Monday, Monday, Friday. Uh, yeah, everything just sort of feels a little bit, a little bit off. Probably because of the short week for me, uh, because we had Monday off. All right, so. We are looking at web assembly rust. Um, actually, I think if I go to rust lang, do they have a link to web assembly here? Yeah, WebAssembly. Yeah, they have the WebAssembly book. And I, I remember being told that this book is really good. Um, my PC is so fast. I needed to buy a new PC just for Rust on stream because my previous notebook, like it's good on its own, but when I run Rust on it on stream, it was bringing my, uh, uh, it was bringing my frame rate down to like one <laughs> so many drop frames it was terrible okay so um a quick introduction of like what WebAssembly is i've been watching a few you know rest talks i've been watching um just like just things online on youtube uh to sort of like try to figure out what what web assembly really is behind the scenes um it's not actually web assembly like it's web assembly it's not actually assembly um, it's, um, like assembly means something like the word assembly means something in programming and web assembly is a, it's more of a binary format for browsers as opposed to actually like assembly code that gets turned into binary format. So it's fast because it, it um, it's fast because it's a compile target that all the browsers will just assume like, hey, this is how things work. We don't need to add a runtime to WebAssembly. We can just execute it like straight. I I mean, according to the talk I watched the other day, it's not like it's closer to a binary, meaning that it's already been compiled essentially. Uh, so it's even better than assembly in a way uh, because it doesn't need that like final compilation step. It's a binary with a pretty limited instruction set. Yeah, that that's probably the best um, the best description of it. 
Um, what's more interesting is that because it's a binary, if you compile to WebAssembly with a runtime, um, and runtime being very interesting here, uh, runtime means uh, anything that your language has to do uh, to sort of like do calculations on its own, basically code it runs, that's not our code. So for example, JavaScript, Python, Java, they all have a runtime uh, that includes a garbage collector. Um, Swift, for example, has a runtime that includes a reference counter for its garbage collection. Um, assembly is basic, basically already a binary and more human readable format. Okay. Then, then, then maybe it is closer to assembly than like what, what the person that was talking on the, uh, um, the YouTube video I was watching was, was saying that, um, Rust, however, because it doesn't have a, a garbage collector, it does all that stuff statically at compile time, doesn't have a runtime, meaning that the binary is going to be smaller and it's going to run faster. Uh, um, Lord Mist, good morning. Um, also, Danny Fritz, good morning. Hello. Uh, Wasm reminds you of chip 8 as far as instruction sets and targets go. Awesome. I don't know what, I don't, I'm not familiar with chip 8. I move my microphone a little bit closer to me. I forgot I put it off to the side for work work. Um, all right, so there is this entire book here and I think that we go to implementing the game of life uh, in it. And that's kind of like where I want to go is just, just sort of that far and see, see what we can get going with it. I remember looking at one of the WebAssembly crates and seeing that it was like abandoned and no longer being being worked on. Um, but I think that this is not the book that uses one of those. Um, and I would be really interested to see because um, uh, I've, I've talked with some, like Bear Duda was here uh, a while back and we chatted offline about potentially converting the the drop game to WebAssembly. He was actually considering doing that himself. Um, and we weren't sure if it was going to work on OBS. So I figured this would be an excellent time for us to also test OBS and its WebAssembly compatibility. I know it uses like a Chromium behind the scenes, but it might like who knows how much they've customized it. Higher level cre uh, crates are really taking off. The biggest two are U and Seed. I have not heard of Seed. I've heard of U, and I've had someone request that I, I look into U before, so that will be something we look into in the future too. Okay, so Wesenpack. Wesenpack is your one-stop shop for testing, building, and publishing Rust to generate WebAssembly. Okay, so we need Wesenpack. Wait, I need a binary? I can't install it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna use the WSL. We're gonna do this one. This is coming from West Br Rust Wasm. Okay. Last time we checked, OBS Chrome, they're still on version like 56. I know they're they're really far back. Lord Mist, good morning. And also you're using the brand new, um, uh, what is it? The brand new uh, emote that we uh, we just added to the channel. So if you're a subscriber, you have access to the Brook Z Ferris, uh, which Lord Mist is showing off. You're guessing this installs like a compiler extension for a Wasm target that maybe? Let's find out. Uh, bring you over here. Open up a WSL window. Okay, so I'm gonna curl, pipe this into the shell. Okay, so it installed into my cargo. Oh, you know what I need to do? 
I haven't updated uh, Rust on the WSL recently, so I need to do that. That being said, it looks like it installed Wasmpack to my cargo binary Wasmpack. I wonder why I couldn't install that through crates. I think these WSL commands also work in Git Bash. Um, is that because Git Bash is really just running like Sigwin or something like that behind the scenes? So that's, that's all that. Cargo Generate. Cargo Generate helps you get up and running quickly with the new restaurant project by leveraging a pre-existing Git repository as an example. Okay, you can install that. Uh, Mingw, not Sigwin, but similar. I haven't used anything. I've used Sigwin a long time ago in the past, but WSL blows Sigwin out of the water. Anyways. I don't want multiple lines. I just want you. Really? Why are you copying multiple lines? There you go. Usually use git bash and not WSL because it's less um, isolated from each other. Although like, yeah, I can see that. Um, I really like the direction that Windows, that Microsoft is, is taking Windows with like becoming more and more integrated with Linux. Um, it, it's, it's making it really nice. I haven't tried WSL2 yet, um, but that's, that's something that I want to like upgrade to and, and give a shot. Build failed, cool. Why did you fail? Could not find directory of OpenSSL installation and the syscrate cannot proceed without this knowledge. If OpenSSL is installed and this crate had trouble finding it, you can set the OpenSSL directory environment. Do a... apt install. Do I have to sudo? Oh, no. What is it? It's, um, oh, first I need to update it. Yeah, I don't know if WSL, like the Ubuntu version, auto comes with W like OpenSSL. I would assume normally it could, but maybe maybe it can't. Um, Cause I can't just like search for oh, uh, oh OpenSSL. There's this. Okay. Okay, so it's installed in user bin open SSL. Okay, you don't have like a version. So I have it. Not sure why they want OpenSSL for a WebAssembly crate, but okay. Just try running Cargo again, it'll probably work. Yeah, we could try. Although I can't imagine why it would work this time. Like normally, oh here, OpenSSL sys. We were able to get that crate. Build failed. Cannot find directory of OpenSSL installation and this syscrate cannot proceed without this knowledge. 
All right, so we can set the OpenSSL directory environment variable. So um, where did we decide it was? User bin. Yeah, so we're just going to set the... So exports OpenSSL dir equals... that uh, and then try it again with the specs of this PC that com that's compiling insanely quick um, I let's see is there a way for me to get the about there's the Uh, let's see, that's not... It's close. Not exactly what I want. Um, but basically what I did was I, I went to Dell. Okay, so it's an AMD Ryzen 9 3912 core with 64 gigabytes of memory. Um, and so I, I bought the, uh, an Alienware desktop for it just because I didn't feel like taking the time to build it myself. Okay. Different error this time. That's better. Process call. Let's see. It's a glob walk. Open SSL directory does not exist. User bin live. Really? Wait, 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 you went to live. Why did you go to live? I told you Ben. Okay, hold on. So. Open SSL, it's not a directory, it's not like a link to somewhere else, it's just here. This is where it is. But it's looking for the library for it. So maybe just user? Seems a bit strange. Uh, I should just set it to like the full first thing. Hmm. Also, graphics card in here, I have the 2080, uh, which of course was a top graphics card until like just a couple days ago. Pretty sure I should set it to user bin open SSL. Let's try it. User bin open SSL. Try it again. Like normally if it's wanting like the directory of where it is, they just give it the directory of where it is, not the actual binary. Yeah, look at this. It went to user bin open SSL lib. It's looking for the libraries for it, not the binary. Okay, so if I ls slash user lib, there's open SSH. Okay, so I could try user. Uh, nope, that's 
Not really what I wanted. Let's go backwards. I don't like the fact that it's it's asking me for like where it's installed and then it's adding like lib onto that. I I feel like the error message could be better. Okay, so this is a different error. Okay. No such file or directory, open SSL, open SSL V. Maybe in the OpenSSL directory is just somewhere else. Yeah. Process did not exit successfully because it tried to do this build. Failed to find OpenSSL development headers. Oh, okay. Here. This is what I need. So, sudo apt install libssl dev. That would have been nice for it to tell me beforehand. So if I we run this again, um, T T soding soding um, is raiding with a party of one hundred forty. Oh my gosh, T soding! Thank you so much for the raid and also. Welcome, 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 everybody. Um, how was your How was your stream? How was everything? Uh, PHP raid. Oh, I'm I'm not doing PHP today, but uh, I do PHP professionally at my day job. Um, we're uh, so we are working on um, so Rust. We're exploring and trying to to learn WebAssembly using some Rust, uh, and we're getting stuck. At just installing and getting like the basics, uh, the basics up and running. So that's kind of fun. Uh, let's see. Professional PHP dev feels dank, man. Yeah. Also, I don't have the um, what is it like the Twitch, the Twitch improved uh, emotes. So a lot of those won't show up on on mine. Um, now you got to check where the headers for OpenSSL are and set the environment variable again. Yes, probably. Um, you know, I wonder, can I just create another window here? And just, now that that's installed, no, um, we don't have the, we don't have the environment variable set. Maybe it'll auto find it now. Um, uh, ASDF uses uh, Libre SSL. I haven't um, I haven't used that. Well, let's let's see if this gets a lot further, or if it works. Like if it just works, then we're good to go, and we know that we needed to install the SSL dev um, from apt. It feels like it's getting farther this time. So anyways, for all of you who have come in here, um, did I miss, did I miss T Sodin? Did you, did you tell me how your stream was? I feel like I missed that. 
Um, but nope. Um, all right. For everybody else who's here, uh, how many of you are familiar with Rust? Um, have heard of it, used it, like it, hate it? Uh, Eodnin raises her hand. All right, you, uh, you, you're familiar with Rust. Lord Mist loves Rust. Well, I mean that's why you, that's why you're here. Uh, <laughs> um, Rust is we we do a lot of Rust on this channel. It's oxidized iron, isn't it? Um, yes. Although Musean, who is a, a, a streamer also and he sometimes shows up, uh, he was mentioning that Rust is actually potentially named for the fungus. Not not the oxidized metal, which I don't know if I, I fully I don't know how much I believe that, but uh, apparently there's more than one term rust. Um, oh, T was was coding in rust. Awesome. What was he? Uh, what was he building? Obviously, it's named after that weird survival game. Oh, yeah. I mean, because rust, you start off and you just feel naked and exposed. And then you get killed by the uh, the compiler several times before you realize that it's actually trying to help you. And then next thing you know, you're building giant con constructs to at the sky. Exactly like the game Rust. Um, all right. Good morning, Utsby. Yes, we got raided. Um, so it is a little bit a little bit more people than we're used to, but it's still pretty awesome. Uh, his own file format. Ooh. Uh, he's coding a command line tool. Oh, fun, fun. Uh, Rust is really good at that. Okay, so we got a successful compilation. So we didn't need to set the environment variable. Uh, we're able to just go with that. So we're able to come back to here and continue on. Um, npm most package manager. Do I have npm? Let's see. Do I have npm? I do. Okay, so I'm using nvm, right? Let's use MVM and install node just to get the latest version of node, which will also give me the latest version of NPM. And we're able to move on to the next section. Rust is um, pretty good at slow compilation times. I do not disagree with you. Um, it's actually somewhat common people, you know, the people join the Rust programming language discord asking for others to... Oh yeah, and like the Rust... Um, uh, the Rust subreddit has that a lot too. Okay, so I've got the latest node. Uh, clone the project template. So this is the Wasm pack template. Okay. So let's go into this code, builds. Playgrounds. Let me make this bigger too. Rust game also fills the Google search results with nonsense when you're looking to solve a programming issue. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised about that. Although I think they've learned that I'm like just don't do Rust the game that I mostly get Rust stuff now, or I just put Rust laying in front of everything. Um, okay. Git clone. Wait, 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 wait. Copy you. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, project name. Um, we're going to name this Exploring uh, Wasm. Creating project called Exploring Wasm. All right, so let's cd into Exploring Wasm. Open up code here. Oh, right, I don't want to open up this code. This is this is the wrong code. I want to open up this code. So let's 
Playgrounds. Uh, let's see. Exploring Wasm. Open up the code here. This is the code I've set up for streaming um, and working with this, which means I can now turn on this, um, which won't work until I open up some some lines of code. But for example, you can use bang line and then highlight some lines, ask questions, or just show off things, or you know, in case I have any problems. Should prompt you for a name. We'll call you Wasm Game Life. Too late. Um, What's inside? Enter the new Wasm Game of Life project. Uh, let's take a look at its contents. Pretty normal looking crate. So let's see, just going through what all of these are. All right, so we can just build the project at this point in time. So that's gonna be Wasm Pack Build. Um, also, here's those highlights and what they look, look like. Um, if you do a line, like bang line, number, and then a message, then it actually shows up and I can highlight it and see like, oh, um, Audnin, Audnin. Uh, did I pronounce that correctly? I feel like I, I butchered that. Um, highlighted this message, highlighted this. Uh, and then only I can undo them right now. So let's go ahead and try Wasm Pack Build. Line 18, why is there an error? Um, good question, let's take a look. This operation is unsafe and requires an unsafe function or block. Ah. Interesting. It wants me to put unsafe around this. Fascinating. Why is an alert unsafe? Well, also, this isn't Rust. This is JavaScript. So maybe it's calling FFI is always unsafe. Okay, that's what it is. Because it's JavaScript and we're calling non-Rust code, it has to go in unsafe. But then look at this, unnecessary unsafe block. Really? I mean, Rust, you can't have it both ways. You can't tell me it's unsafe and requires unsafe and then Tell me I don't need an unsafe. Oh, uh, can I just do this? No. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna yell at me for being up for using unsafe when I don't need to, and then you're gonna yell at me for not using unsafe. Cool rest. All right, so this built that. Your Wasm is ready to pack it. Huh, ready to go there. Okay, so in package we now have, oh, TypeScript bindings, JavaScript, and the Wasm file. Okay, so then if we want to use it in a web page, run this command within the Wasm Game of Life directory. npm init wasm app www. Wait, you want us to do that? Okay, so not, not in a package directory, but just just in here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 
Um, let's see, line 17, maybe just make this function unsafe. Is there a way to disable the error? I don't know. Um, so normally, like, the errors are just like, yeah, they're errors. Um, Spends on the extension being used, RLS, which would be, which just the compiler is outdated, not recommended since ages. Uh, I think I'm using Rust Analyzer, though. Uh, off the double check. I have both of them installed, but I think I'm just using Rust Analyzer for the analyzing part. All right, so what are we doing? We ran this code. Uh, we created www, which now has this index. Can, does that mean I can just open this up? Shall we just try? Code playgrounds, exploring Wasm and oh, it would be www index. Okay, so imp oh, it's index.js. That's not what I wanted. Uh, Index.html. The character encoding of the plain text document was not declared. Uh, so basically, it's having trouble reading this. Oh, cross origin blocking. That's a problem. Uh, is, I wonder if it's going to have a server for us to run. Install the dependencies. Okay, so npm install. Yeah, normally, yeah. Normally I would like run, run like a simple server or like, uh, that's what, like most of my other ones I, I run that. Let's see, so then using that. Wait, we already installed it. Oh, wait, did I do this in the wrong directory? npm install in here because there's a package of json in here but not out there that's the problem bear dot has a ton of experience with this drop game um so bear bear is um very good at uh at getting points it, it also doesn't help that bear um bear has contributed to the dropped game so he actually has a a um a local copy of it running on on his system that he can play around with and sort of like get get really used to how it works all right run npm audit fix oh no i'm not going to do that but there's like a whole bunch of those that's not good um oh i for you open did you pull did you open a pull request um I, I saw that you doing something and I forgot about it this morning. User local and dub the dub. Open up package.json next to dev dependencies, add dependencies field, including the Wasm Game of Life package entry. Wait, did I miss anything? So if I open up you, and I open up you, oh, you're thinking I can just put a unsafe public function unsafe here. Uh, apparently that's not how I do it. Is it unsafe before? Uh, apparently, I don't know how to do inline unsafe. 
because none of those are how you do it. Pub unsafe function. Okay, so here. Can only wasn't bind safe function. So no, apparently we can't do that either. Cool. Um, let's continue looking at this. Open up this. So I need dub 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 package.json. And next to dev dependencies, including wasm game of life file. Okay, so you want me to do wasm game of life file package. Next, modify wasm game of life www index.js. Okay. To import wasm game of life instead of hello wasm package. So wasm game of life. Since we declared a new dependency, we need to install it. Um, okay, not not that one. That one. It would be really cool if there were some chat commands to make some minor edits to the code, uh, like so I could do surround seventeen unsafe. Oh yeah, Twitch Twitch codes Rust. That would be that would be a fun project. It it would be doable. If we have enough people, we could have like the voting system be the slowest way of coding anything at all. Um, okay. So that installed. Serving locally. Let's close you up. NPM run starts. Yeah, okay, so you couldn't find this. So it couldn't find it in... Born Wasm, okay, so it tried to find Wasm Game of Life in there. Right, that makes sense. It's looking for it in here. Is it, where does it exist? Oh, there's nothing even close to that. There's the, okay, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, because it's exploring Wasm. Because we renamed it, we named it exploring Wasm instead of Wasm Game of Life. That being said, it didn't put into here. I have to go out into package. Uh, so you are exploring Wasm. Okay, that's closer. Uh, okay, so it can find that in dub dub dub. What? Let's see. Do I need to move you into dub dub dub? Like I have a package over here, and it didn't make anything. Didn't go anywhere over here. Or do I have to install? Go one out into package. I mean. 
it was sounding like it should just be able to find it. But, um... Yeah, here. Wasm... Oh. Hold on. In here. So instead of Wasm Game of Life, let's name this Exploring Wasm from, from here. We'll do another NPM install, and then we can run it, I believe. No, can't resolve exploring Wasm in dot dot. So one out of dub dub dub. One out of this into package exploring Wasm. Okay. Exploring Wasm should be inside of dependencies. Uh, I get, okay. And put it in. Wait, where, where did it say we need to put this? Oh, inside of dependencies, you're right. Not to put dev dependencies. Oh, we don't have any dependencies. That's a problem. Okay, let's do that. Um... Uh, thank you, uh, Lord Mist. Also, let's see, package JSON, move that. All right, let's try this again. Nope, wrong, wrong terminal. Added one package, that's a good sign. Compiled successfully, that's a good sign. Okay. Now we can run npm run start, which I think we just did, right? Yeah. And we'll just go to localhost 8080. Upgrade required. Cool. Uh, the character encoding the plain text document was not declared. The document will render with garbled text. Well, that's... Huh. Okay. And I should... I should get this. Um, well, that didn't work. <laughs> so we know we're able to bring this in. Uh, are we able to have anything in here? So if we go, plus you should update the stream title. It still says GGEZ. Did I? I thought I updated it. Well, let me refresh you. Uh, I did, okay, I updated it. Yeah, I did. I started it initially without that, because I forgot. Because um, normally I've been doing a lot of GGEZ game development in Rust. Um, okay, so you, you weren't loading that one. Let's take a look at you. So we have our index.js, import everything, and then run the greet function. If we go to our libraries, we run the greet function here. Um, I should be able to remove that highlight now. Interesting, I turn C, function alerts. Now, do I need to 
put unsafe around here. Even though it's a warning. If I do that, um, you don't recompile, you don't re hot compile, do you? Or did you? No, still, still the same sort of upgrade required here. I don't think unsafe actually does anything to the bytecode just for the IR. Still, still like uncertain of why. I'm getting this upgrade required. Upgrade required is normally for something. 426 upgrade required. Is that because it's like HTTP 1.1 and it needs to be something else? Yeah, it wants a later version of HTTP. That's what it sounds like. What uh, server are we running? Does it show here? Not, not really. Sometimes like, there'll be headers of, like what the actual server is. Isn't the upgrade required a response from the server though? I'm you're blaming Webpack Dev Server. Yeah, it, it might be. I think I could maybe I can use Light Server instead. Let's let's try that. So here we are in www. We have the index.html. If I use mpx light server. Oh, right, I forgot. I have to do it light server that s. So where we're doing it and the port is 8080. Okay. Oh, the same upgrade required. Interesting. Although I'm not getting any feedback here. Do I have something else loaded in 8080? Uh, I don't think so, but here we could try like 8081. Okay, error importing index.js, type error, error resolving module specifier, exploring wasm. Relative module specifiers must start with dot slash, dot dot slash, or slash. Okay, okay. Finally an error. So in here, I think it's like that. was blocked because of a disallowed mime type. Error importing index of JS. Okay. Is it dot dot slash? Do I have to like give it a package? Um, every person you have tried to see getting this game of life example of nothing but trouble, which I mean, it's it's good to know that there's nothing but trouble for this because then it's like, oh, that that that's not a good thing. Why can't sub post links? Um, you know, I don't know if I I should probably update that. I have VIPs that can post links. Um, post it to me in um, in Discord.
Are you recompiling with Webpack when I edit? Uh, no. Okay, that's a problem. So I need to wasm pack build again. Then we run our server again. Oh, it's just a silly cat picture related to the update. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of the um, one of the things that uh, Bear Duda suggested that I haven't gotten around to is uh, setting up a better uh, a better bot to like handle links. Okay, so updating you and are still getting. Okay, so you're not finding it. Maybe. Maybe it's just slash. Nightbot, white, blacklist versus switch, just score twitch torching everything. Yeah, that's that's what I want to do. Um, HP dot. If you don't know what an HP response code is, the best way to find out is HP dot cat slash HTTP code. Oh, is that the, um, is that the cute cat? Um, uh, module photo gif. Okay. So it's not able to find this, is it? 404 not found. It's looking for just exploring wasm here. Exploring Wasm is inside of this package. Uh, so can I do slash package that? Uh, not found there. Where is it bringing it? Does NPM start do more than just start a server? Good question. Let's find out. Webpack dev server. There's a build I can run. Okay. NPM run build. Can't resolve package. Okay, so that that might be our problem. Uh, let's come back into here. If I just do that. And then we start a light server. So it's Webpack that's doing something weird when I'm trying to load it from their server. Okay, that's a good sign. Air importing index.js. Okay, so it doesn't like me using, it wants me to use like a dot slash or slash. Interesting, okay. So can I just do that? Rerun or build? No, because you can't find it. In package. This is the reason why we need to run our serve. Uh, shouldn't import index.js only bootstrap.js. It's like bringing everything in as Wasm from exploring Wasm, which comes in from here. And that's bringing everything in as Wasm from this. 
it doesn't look like it's bringing in anything bootstrap you can change the webpack dev server port in your webpack config uh, yeah webpack the the problem where all of these come from um let's see I guess we could just create, what is it going to be port dev server um, port 8082 or something. Um, happy phone highlighting. I might as well use these points. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't set anything up to truly use the points yet um which will which will come eventually okay so if i do that and then we come back to run start which should build everything and then start it can't resolve that that's in here and back to you okay so failed failed to compile initially it rebuilt and reran Okay, that's taking longer to run. Oh, can't establish a connection at 8081. Back to upgrade required. What are we getting? Oh, just literally the string upgrade required. Uh, So compiled successfully, but I'm, hmm. <laughs> Is there steps that I missed in here? Anytime you make changes and want them reflected in here, just rerun the web wasm pack build command within the game of life directory. So did the greet work before? Okay, so npm run start. No, okay, so this doesn't work either. Stacking, you got your point. Congratulations. Why, why would you decide not to work? Why do you need an upgrade? Are you just like an ancient version of HTTP or something? It's a new version. It's like the latest version of uh, Firefox dev mode. Uh, so. You're serving at HT8082? Wait a second. Oh, OK. That's our problem. It's serving at 8082, not 8080. Got it. Okay, here we go. Hello, Wasmpack. So there's a challenge in here. Okay, so now now let's go ahead and bring this bring this back. Save you. That rebuilds you. Hello, exploring Wasm. Okay. Really. Ah. Uh. Okay, so it looks to me like Webpack was going off of the wrong port number. 
And if we take a look at our Webpack config, I don't see anywhere in here that we're, oh, because we were setting the port here. Never mind. We, we overrode it and we said dev server port 82 and I forgot to start using it. You have something bound to 8080 doing something weird. I do. I don't know what it's doing. I don't. Could, could it be something about like one of my OBS extensions or something like that? Yeah, I don't know. Continue the book. Let's uh, let's continue on. So uh, we got it server locally. Okay, so exercise is modify the greet function to take a name stir parameter that customizes the alerted messages and passes your name. Okay, so in here, alert string string. So that's a function that then we're able to call here. Oh, okay. So like have take a have greet take a, a like a string. So we're going to take in a name which is a string slice or a stir and then hello name. So then in greet here you can call greet and do um, hello world. Because we made a change to there, we have to exit out of here and wasm build first. Is it wasm build? What was it? Wasm pack build. And then I can CD back into www and npm run start. And so here we get uh, hello world. Okay, so we're able to like interact between Rust and the browser now. So that's pretty cool. Let's continue on. answer yeah you just take in a string a stir and then deal with that okay moving on the rules of game of life we've we've done that before we can we can play around with that um compute by hand the next tick of our example universe can you find well wait a second um i should pay more attention to the rusty compiler warnings was it was it actually telling me what the problem was and I just wasn't noticing it? All right, so implementing Conway's game of life. Design. Before we build it that before we dive in, we have some design choices to consider. Interfacing Rust and JavaScript. So just ignore, ignoring that. But because we will implement the throw They've already made the choice for us. Um, okay, so interfacing Rust and JavaScript. This is one of the most important concepts to understand and take away from this tutorial. Okay, so we'll, we'll go through this carefully. JavaScript's garbage collected heap where objects, arrays, and DOM nodes are allocated is distinct from WebAssembly's linear memory space where Rust values live. Yes. WebAssembly currently has no direct access to the garbage collected heap, but that might change. JavaScript, on the other hand, of course, can read and write to WebAssembly linear memory space, but only as an array buffer of scalar values, like U8s, I32s, F64s, etc. WebAssembly functions also take and return scalar values. So bindgen basically gives us the ability to work more than just in these uh, base types. Uh, there's something extremely satisfying to watch product compile without warnings and the opposite goes for when you do have warnings. Um, if the JavaScript garbage collector worked, there would be no JavaScript. 
Um, I mean, it works. Sometimes it works really slowly. And by sometimes, I mean a lot of times. Minimizing copy into and out of WebAssembly linear memory. Unnecessary copies impose unnecessary overhead. Minimizing serializing and deserializing. I mean, that's true with everything. If we want it to run as fast as possible, then just minimize. I think I missed a joke. I do that a lot, <laughs> as Bear Dudok can attain from yesterday. I uh, I tend to to miss these jokes a lot, especially when I'm streaming. Oh, JS is garbage is the joke. I mean, if that's true, it would have been garbage collected, right? We just keep on having references to it everywhere. If only we can get rid of those references 300 milliseconds later, we'll be fine. Um, as a rule of thumb, a good JavaScript WebAssembly interface design is often one where a large, long-lived data structures are implemented as rest types that live in a WebAssembly linear memory and are exposed to JavaScript as opaque handlers. So interfacing REST and JavaScript game of life, let's start by enumerating some hazards to avoid. We don't want to copy the whole universe into and out of WebAssembly linear memory on every tick. We do not want to allocate objects for every cell in the universe, nor do we want to impose a cross-boundary call to read and write every cell. We can represent the universe in a flat array that lives in a WebAssembly linear memory and has a byte for each cell. So that's kind of what we did when we created WebAssembly, uh, sorry, when we created Game of Life in GGEZ. A good JavaScript WebAssembly interface. Um, yeah. So here's what a four by four universe looks like. Yeah, it's basically just a single array. And it could be just true or false, essentially, unless we want to have colors. We'll now modify that project template now. Let's begin by removing the alert, import, and greet function from Game of Life and replacing them with type definition for cells. So in here, this is gonna be in our live.rs file. We have this wasm bind gen represent repr u8 and derive clone copy debug partial equal and equal. Oh, fun. Uh, oh, and we're creating a cell. Oh, it's just an enum, which is going to be just a, a bit, one or zero, which uh, whichever it was. This, um, we learned this was basically the ability, like a C style enum, where we're setting dead to equal one. Uh, so we don't have to like later on extract it out. So if we do this and we change you, so wasm bind gen, Actually, hub enum, this is calling it. We want it up here, don't we? It's like if I essentially copy you, put you in here. It's important that we have the uh, repper. What is that short for? Representative? Representing? Um, U8, so that each cell is represented as a single byte. It's also important that the dead variant is zero and the alive variant is one, so we can easily count to cells live neighbors with addition. Let's define the universe. Okay. So we need this wasm bind gen in front of everything in order to like basically move it into the JavaScript WebAssembly like area, I'm, I'm guessing. And okay, so then we implement the universe. So we're gonna create a function off of the universe that gets index. We pass it a U32 for the row and a column and it gets, uh, let's see, get index. So row time self, okay. So it figures out what the index is based upon that and returns that. Um, be right back, bear do that, okay. In order to calculate the next state of a cell, we need to get a count of how many of its neighbors are alive. 
Let's write a live neighbor count method to do just that. Okay, so part of the implement universe, we also get this thing. I don't need you. Okay, so live neighbor count, we get a row, we get a column. We figure what our count is. We could probably change this to use, well, maybe. So U32 in self to height minus one, zero and one. Okay, so we're just creating an array, literal right here to iterate it. We clone that. Interesting, okay. Yeah, there, there might not be a better way to deal to deal with this. I wonder I wonder it like how much more expensive it would be to use a and a vector of vectors essentially instead of just a single array. Or we can use an array of arrays because we know exactly what the size is going to be. Um, okay, so then we have wasm bind gen so these are the public method. Okay, so public methods exported to JavaScript. Right, that's what these all are. So like get index. The iter clone just turns a reference U32 to a U32. Okay, that makes sense, right? Because we you clone a reference to U32, obviously you get the real thing. Thank you, Nathaniel. It's good to know. So if we take you. Now we're still, oh, we're still in info. So now, okay, so we have tick. This is gonna be public, meaning that it's exposed to, like it's not internal. Let's put that first. Okay, so we're going to use the use standard format, implement format display. Well, if we're going to use standard format and we're just, oh no, I guess like, yeah, that works. For universe, okay, so we're going to implement a display for the universe. So implement the straight traits. And then for each line, as slice chunk self width as u size, or cell in line, symbol goes if cell. Okay, so if so the cell is dead, so if this is a one, so if if what is represented in cell is a one, uh, then display this, otherwise display this. Oh, that's funny. We're actually displaying like this character. And then write out a new line at the end. Oh, that's cool. So for universe, Let's implement this trait in here and then for format I learned recently that I can do this and import format oh import standard format uh, so what I just did was control dot uh, might be a command dot on um, on Mac I'm not sure I haven't tried this on Mac yet uh, on something like that and it will auto import and add that into the top of here which is really nice try alt enter um, if I like do, well, it doesn't do anything anymore. Let me try removing it. I do alt enter, nothing. If I do control dot, yeah, yeah, the alt hit. Alt enter didn't do anything for me. I think it's because you have IntelliJ KeyMac installed. Oh, that, that would do it. Okay, so we, we overwrite display so that it has a custom display for us for when we print it out. Yeah, it does the same thing. Oh, nice, okay. Finally, to find a constructor that initializes the universe with an interesting pattern of live and dead cells and a render method, so. So, okay, we're gonna create our constructor and we're also gonna create a render method. I usually really like to have the constructor as the first thing in here. So let's go ahead, 
you in there. How much wasm do you need for your server? All the wasm. Um, all the wasm everywhere, apparently. I have, so I've met some people that are actually using wasm for server to server communication, um, which is really interesting. Because it because Guasm is a standard, it's it's possible to do that. Uh, with that, recompile it, and then inside of here, here we're gonna add our. How does that work? Well, because it's a standard. Um, now I don't I haven't looked at too much WebAssembly. We can look at like what this looks like. Um, actually, you know what? We can look at that before we compile it. Our previous one was just a. Just an alert. Let's take a look at what this is. Oh, it's binary and uses unsupported text encoding, so I can't open it. I can try it anyways. This is what this is what the wasm looks like. It's not not super helpful. Um, okay, so if I recompile now. Um, I can't read that, apparently. Like, I, I'm not that good at reading it. Um, open it in Azure TTS. There's an extension that can convert the WASM to Watt. Oh, I've heard of Watt, which is like the text version of WASM instead of like in the binary format. Oh, that would be pretty cool. So if I open up... You... Oh, you either went away. Let's go ahead. Search for Wasm. Okay, there's the WebAssembly from the WebAssembly Foundation. Preview WebAssembly binary files in two clicks. Okay, so I think that's what I want. Open you again, open you. There it is. So here's the WebAssembly in Watt form. Um, <laughs> I'll learn WebAssembly just so I can see. Did you get my Watt file? Uh, so this is basically what the instructions look like, like the, the assembly style functions. So like we're declaring our functions. It's just fun. Uh, it isn't better than it was in binary. I mean, at least it, characters are recognizable as like English characters. But we can see here the um, all we had previously. Did I? Um, oh no, this this includes. Did I rerun? I did. So this includes like the entire universe thing. What we can see is six thousand three hundred and fifty three lines. Of, of Watt code. Now, I think that's extremely compacted in the compiled WASM as we as we saw before. So the Watt is not quite as good, but we'll, we'll see. Now, what's next? Rendering with JavaScript. First, let's add a pre-element to index.html. So we want to add a pre-element in the body. Uh, ID game of life canvas. Okay, sure. Uh, script source, Bootstrap. Okay, so we've got that. I want to put this after the no script. Additionally, we want the pre-centered. Okay, fine. We can add some styling into this website instead of 
putting it somewhere else. At the top of the Wasm Game of Life, index.js. Let's fix our import to bring in the universe rather than the old greet function. Okay, so that's gonna be our index.js. Um, well, we, we're importing everything in here. So that should be it, right? Like we now can just do wasm.universe. Oh, import universe from. So instead of just importing everything, we import universe like that, destructure it straight out. Let's get that pre-element. So if we get the pre-element here, um, and now const universe equals universe new. Lots of opportunities to redo the who's on first skit with what in file in the file format. Yep, don't don't disagree. Here's my politically correct non-binary. What? Um, inside no script, you can put a marquee. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe. I've never I've never really played very much with the the no script. I I even don't I don't use it very much myself. Uh, if you import everything, that should work too. It should because like that should import universe. Um, and I should just have it. Although I like this form better. Um, oh, so this is just from that. I like this a little bit better because uh, it, like, it, it allows me to see as the developer, oh, this is, this is what we have. Is it even possible to use NoScript in 2020? I mean, yes, because HTML is backwards compatible in almost every browser way back to the beginning. Um, that being said, most sites require JavaScript these days. So JavaScript runs a request animation frame loop. Well, so we're going to create a render loop where we render. So pre text content equals render, then run a tick and then recursively call this function again at the next, at the next frame. So we're just going to start this. And then we should just be able to run, just start it all off with this. So basically we're creating a function render loop. I could just create this action as a normal function instead of an arrow function. Um, at the very end of it, request an animation frame and then call it back here and just start off the entire thing going. Um, if we, Start. If we go check this out, does it just work? No. Um, Universe.new is not a function. Really? Here's a new. It's universe. Um, did I not? Oh, I need to. So wasn't bind gen public function greet. Well, no, it's it's here. Who needs JavaScript when you have CGI? Oh my gosh. I, I remember that way a long time ago. You can disable JavaScript, let's see. You can disable JavaScript, but is that feasible? I mean, not, not really, not anymore. But then again, it's like becoming a big thing again to do static websites and like do server, server side uh, rendering. So it actually might become feasible again soon. Okay, so we have our struct hotness, which is struct universe, which is a pub. We implement public new on this. And that just sets everything up, okay? So you're telling me universe, hold on. Nope. So if I copy you, no, it's the same spelling. So I didn't, I didn't lose that. Do 
universe.new. So this is this is the problem is error importing index.js exploring wasm universe.new is not a function. That's cool. Can you console log universe? Uh, because it's just right here, I think I could, right? Like is, can I just import? From, oh no, I, I don't think I can, can I? Exploring Wasm, can I do? No, okay, so I can't just do it right there. Um, yeah, let's try console logging universe out right here. Class universe. Oh, it's a class universe. So not dot new. A new universe? Like that? And if I now console log universe, empty object. Okay. Universe.render is not a function. Is there a way to see what all the methods are? Um, think new is a prototype method on the class. Okay, so you think, here, let's try this. Console log universe.new. Undefined, so it doesn't it doesn't see new off of universe. That's our that's our problem. Just type universe in a browser console. Sure. Universe is not defined, and that's because like in here it's it's stuck in like it's inside of this uh, scoped. Uh, module, so I'm not gonna be able to have access to it. Yeah, so, okay. Now what I can do is I can call a debugger. Pause and debugger statement. Uh, let's make this full screen here. Um, here, we're, we're paused right here. We can see universe prototype. So class constructor universe. This is cool, it just goes on forever. That's lovely. Uh, but I can now console log inside of this scope. So now I can see universe is not defined. It's not defined at this point. Wait, did it get renamed to something else? Like after, there's universe. Oh, okay. Hold on. Exploring Wasm Webpack Introvert Module, Universe. Oh my gosh. Then this is Universe. <laughs> this is what Universe is. The class Universe. So if I do. Um, this thing. Now I can have universe dot, what do we have in here? I don't see new, like it's not aware of what, like anything inside of here. So if I do something like that, it's undefined. When you print instance, the console, there's a prototype you can look at, right, which isn't showing me much when I go into here. Like we have the constructor, That doesn't really give me much. The prototype of the universe class is literally the base object. Yeah. The new function probably turns into a constructor. That's what I was expecting. 
but um, inside of here we see that it should get we should have these things like width height and cells if I do um, new universe I don't got any of those things so that's not helpful I imagine there needs to be more wasm bindgen sprinkled about. Don't I have wasm bindgens? Do I need to put them inside of here? Do I put you in air? Let's try that. Wasm pack build. Associated static items are not allowed. Not found in this. So, okay, new is not found in this scope. So, no, I don't think I can do that. Maybe there's an attribute showing it should be a constructor. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Is this all supposed to be under the wasm bind gen? Do I have the wasm bind gen before the impulse? Ooh, good question. I don't. Let's move that up. Nope, not that one. You. Uh, that's fun. Error in validating import. Failed to export whilst I'm opt exiting in this full seat. Wasm Bindgen Constructor. Okay. I need to add that here then. So, Wasm Bindgen Constructor. Oh, and apparently this is, this makes it unhappy. Can I find function new in this scope? Wasn't by and constructor. Oh. Do you go in here? And not here. Uh, check this doc for a link that was supposed to be on the function. Oh, I need to remove that debugger. Okay, so same, same problems there. Let's take a look at this doc. Need to bind gen on the struct and implement and function new. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. When attached to a Rust constructor, it'll make the generated JavaScript bindables calls as new foo. For example, consider this exported Rust type and constructor annotation. Okay, so we need the wasm bind gen under impul foo and then the wasm bind gen constructor. So we need all three. So come back to here. Essentially you become, you get on here. We need wasm bind gen uh, like that. Copy you, put you up there. Is 
That's what I need. Or not. They also put Wazam Bainjan on the Impul and the Struct. I think I, I put that. Look at all that Watt. Yeah, this is function unreachable, unreachable, unreachable. That's fun. Uh, what was the error? Let's take a look at that. Error in invalidating in validating input fail to execute wasm output matched with this full command to disable wasm opt add wasm opt false to your package metadata in cargo.toml. I try to go up to the top of this this, but this goes on for a while. 6,000 lines of it, probably. Cool. It went out, it went out of um, that. Standard life for Boss Wasm FFI is large. Yes, apparently. So, did I misspell these? So I need these in the struct, the impul, So the struct and the impul, and then we have the wasm bind gen constructor here. Ah, I spelled everything correctly. I would disable the wasm opt option. For all we know, it's chipping on the vector. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see, that's in the cargo.toml, right? Uh, and we need to to disable wasm op, add wasm op false to your package metadata. Uh, where do I put the metadata? Is that just a metadata in here? Or did I put it in here? It's not. Oh, profile release. Actix Web 3.0 just got released? Ooh, we might have to take a look at that. Uh, let's see, I know there's a profile.debug maybe? De debugging? So in debug mode, have that. Oh, maybe there's a package metadata. Let's try it. Package dot metadata. Maybe it's as literal as that. No, that is not the answer. Um, line six, it should go here. Okay, so put it up there. All right, so put it up there, build it again. No, it did not like that either. So that's fun. What do we want from us, Wasm Bindgen? Yeah, I know. Um, so unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit, I've, I've gone past where I normally end my stream. I normally end between like 8.15 and 8.30, but I was really hoping that I can get to like where this was working and like get it actually going. I think more, I think I'll spend a little bit more time on my own trying to figure this out. And then if I do, I'll probably do, I'll probably do one of the mornings or one of the projects, uh, touching upon, upon this. But um, I am going to have to to you know go to work and do my normal day job. We have it's the end of the sprint, so lots of meetings today. It's going to be super 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 fun. Um, I have let's see, 
Who are we gonna raid? We're gonna raid somebody. Um, until then, I am going to invite all of you, if you want to join, to my uh, Discord that I've created recently. So here's a link to that. Uh, you're all invited. Um, I also, I follow me here on Twitch if you want to get notifications for when I go live. I'm going live every single week, day morning at 7 a.m. Mountain Time for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, it's my program for work time. And then also on Sundays, I'm doing tutorial Sundays. So sometime in the morning, uh, depending upon when I wake up, I, um, I'm going to be working on tutorials until around noontime mountain time, which is uh, going to be going to be lots of fun. Um, we're doing like introduction to to Rust. Uh, Stacking, you were in this discord before it was cool. Um, I don't know. It's is, is it cool yet? I don't know if it's big enough. Um, okay, so for everything else, let's figure out who we can raid. Um, Mr. Halsey is live. Let's go ahead and set up a raid to Mr. Halsey. Um, uh, Mr. Halsey is programming, uh, I think he's doing NeoVim with Rust right now, uh, but he is programming a uh, game, sort of like a, um, a survival type game in was it Godot and Rust using those bindings, which is a lot of fun to watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my thing over so I can actually watch this. Let's move this over. Wrong type of command. Let's keep that muted and turn off our music. Um, is raiding the new web ring? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, that that might be that might be a good way to describe it. All right. Um, oh, we're we're back in Rust again. It looks like for Mr. Halsey. All right, everybody. Let's have a great rest of our day, and I will see you next time. Bye.